I'm going to let you guys go ahead and play on the computer and play a game. I want you guys to investigate, to have fun, and so have at it. Play Monster School Bus. Go for it. Enjoy. Monster School Bus teaches number sense and place value. It's okay to have the students just start playing the game right away. Oh look, it's, they're monsters. Kids will play Monster School Bus differently. Let them play differently. Some want to get all the stars, some are okay with just getting one star. You can talk about strategies, walk around, listen, hear what they're talking about. Engage in conversation, because the more conversation we have, the more we can tie it into the math learning. That was the same problem I had. Thanks for pausing, and thanks for making sure that the volume's down. So, a couple of questions I want to ask you. Okay, first off, good game? Did you like it? Yeah. yeah, it was a very cool game, without a doubt. I saw lots of stuff going on, okay? And so, we can talk about the math stuff easily, anytime in math class. I want to talk about, did you get all the stars? Were you the person who went and tried to get all the beakers? What trouble did you possibly have? What strategy? I would just, like, stop at the places I know would make like um, a full, um, full bus. Right, a full load. So I could right. go get all, I could try and get all the beakers. What were you doing to help you? I was using a piece of paper to write down like the problems and it added up. So on what? The whole numbers or when you got to the decimals? When I got to the decimals. So you would know where to go yes. without a doubt. Was it easier when it was whole numbers versus when it was decimals? Mm -hmm. I think with the um, decimals were a bit harder. Okay. The value of the learning of Monster School Bus is it takes students from a grouping of 10 in the base 10 and pushes them to fractions and decimals. Something I like to do is I do an activity where I ask students to make their own groupings of 10. Using only whole numbers, use two different numbers to make 10. Yes, what are your two? 6 plus 4. 6 plus 4. 3 plus 7. 3 plus 7. 2 plus 8. 2 plus 8. Nine plus one. Nine plus one, and I'm missing one. And zero plus ten? Thank you! Bingo! Okay. Using three different whole numbers grouped together to make ten. Three plus two plus five. Three plus two plus five. Do you guys agree? Yes. Cool. So do I. Yes. Six plus one plus three. Four plus five plus one. Does that one work? Yes. Is there a way that I can make 10 using four different whole numbers? 4 plus 2 plus 3 plus 1. 6 plus 3 plus 1 plus 0. 4 plus 5 plus 1 plus 0. Here comes the challenge. If I said you have to have two digits in your number, so Right. Can you use decimals now? Yes. And can you have it add up to 10? Yes. Notice the people here, they gave me two digits. Notice one digit, two digits, four and five tenths. As soon as we came over here, notice what somebody did. What did somebody do? Um, instead of just using the tenths place, they used the tenths and the hundredths place. Right. So they started using three digits, and your wording on that was beautiful. And my criteria for your challenge was to simply use two digits. Now that we just did this, and you guys were meeting the criteria as to what I set aside for you and your challenge, we're going to go ahead and I'm going to let you play again. Try and get all the stars. Try to go for those potions and those beakers and try to kind of map out a strategy as to where you're going to go instead of having the students drop off at the school right away. Let the students play for about 15 minutes while you walk around and monitor their progress. Encourage them to talk and solve problems together. Let them struggle and have fun because learning does take place in the struggle. Whenever I can, I want my students to get up and take their learning outdoors. And so we go ahead and we play Monster School Bus outside. I have numbers already put on cards. They drive around a bus and they collect numbers as they go. Now it may seem like they're just playing the game again, but it really does build their skill in a different way. They collaborate. They have to tackle more complex numbers and it really challenges what they think they already know. Uh, you can't, that's too full of a load. You can't take both of them. 
That was harder than it looks, he says. It is. It looks easy. Remember, change student roles after each round. Encourage students to help each other. As the difficulty increases, check their math, and at the end of each round, examine the results. If this was truly the game, and the game is over, how many... One star. One star, but wait, how many full loads, true full loads did he get? Two. Two. And how many beakers did he get? Three. Three, okay. So, we could go ahead and we could tally that and have a competition. What did you think about playing Monster School Bus outside? Not on the computer, but when we went outside for the activity. Moy. I thought that it was pretty easy the first couple of rounds, but once it got into like the triple digits and you need to pick up three numbers to make it, it got really frustrating and confusing. If you go the wrong way, you pick up wrong people that you don't want to pick up. And what happens, literally, raise your hand, what happens if you pick up the wrong people? What is the long-term consequence of picking up the wrong people? You're getting a lower rating. You're going to get the lower rating. What else? At the end, you won't have very many full, full loads. You won't have as many full loads whatsoever. It won't um, add up to 10, like, in however many people you're supposed to get it, or, like, it just won't, no matter what you try. I, I, you, like, come out uneven, basically, yeah. and we're looking for an even amount. Yes? Also, you don't get the beakers. You didn't get the beakers. We saw that at the very end when we whistled full load, no, that we weren't whistling it anymore. So beakers weren't coming out. The number sense that students gain from playing Monster School Bus is rich and valuable. But when we can take that base 10 number sense and fluidity and tack it on and add it to fractions and decimals, it makes the rest of the learning that we do all year long so much easier. My suggestion to you guys is that when you go, and I'm asking you guys to go home and play this tonight, go home and play Monster School Bus, try to get farther into the levels, because I actually had one more level of that game for us to play outside, so it'd be cool if we all come back really knowing our math, not that you don't know your math, but knowing it on the fly, so when we're outside and we're the bus driver, we know who to pick up where and when so we can get all those beakers. So, what's the homework for tonight? Play Monster School Bus. Play, Play Monster School Bus. Bus. Any questions? Nope. 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 All right. Yeah.